Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hello, welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello, you sexy Swedes. They are very sexy. It's a known fact that the sexiest women on the planet are from Sweden. Absolutely, they are. So we both have Swedish. <laughs> Don't get mad. <laughs> and if you like Sweden, please hit that like button and also consider subscribing. This is, that was easy. It was quick. Okay, was. cool. So we're going to get to the point quickly today. So um, we're excited about this. We did a video. It's been a couple months ago now. I butchered her name, I think, before. I'm probably going to do it again. I'm sorry. Doing the best we can. Yona Yinton? That's what I remember saying last time, and I hope I'm right. Um, but we checked out one of her videos, um, and it was one of the most beautiful things we've ever seen. So gorgeous. And she is such an inspiring person. Mm -hmm. And um, so we saw this video pop up. It's only a couple weeks old. Um, and it's called what, Debs? It's called Daily Life in a Frozen Land, Winter in Sweden. Say no more. That sounds amazing and beautiful, and I've got to see it. I know. And the way she presents her her footage, oh gosh, first of all, the way she does her footage, beautiful. Mm -hmm. The way she presents is so inspiring. She's so amazing. And um, we've fallen in love with just that one video, the area that she lives in. Mm -hmm. And my Lord, it is one of the most beautiful places I've personally seen. Just that one video alone made us want to jump on a plane and get to Sweden. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So, and this will be our first time seeing really winter in Sweden. And um, that's going to be cold. Yeah, that it much I can be, say. But... We saw her ice bath thing, which I thought, yeah. no way. <laughs> that's the part of the Swedish ancestry I did not get. Mm, yeah, I don't think that'd be for me either. But no. it's supposed to be invigorating. I'm sure it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're all in for a treat and a real, I have a feeling a relaxed treat. I think so. So daily life wait. in a frozen land. Let's do it. Winter in Sweden. Bundle up. It's minus 24 outside. And this is the first sun rays of the new year. Holy crap, wow. that is so beautiful. It's just too pretty. Hi, doggy. Aww. Frosty face. Birds. We had a very cold and fresh start on the new year. I want that sweater. That is a nice sweater. I Absolutely. want that sweater. Sweden, Norway, like the sweaters and stuff. I want to just... Go to Sweden, Norway, just to get some just sweaters. sweaters. <laughs> yes. Exactly. This is. I tried to rock my one of my better winter sweaters, but uh, then she comes off with that thing, and I'm like, Oh, yours is nice too, but no, yeah, like, no, I, I like the cool. design on that one. That's, that's really cool. nice. Sorry, and then the birds got my attention. So that's I think I see a great tit there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a bird, Debbie. I know it's a bird. <laughs> I know I do. I think I see two. I don't know what the bird is. Okay, sorry. Sorry. We had a very cold and fresh start on the new year, with degrees below minus 36. Would you actually believe that we did too? Yes, we did get that cold for yeah. a There were parts days. of our city that was colder than the Arctic Circle mm -hmm. just a couple weeks, well, a few weeks ago. Yep. Um, and same thing last year. We had minus like 40 Celsius, mm -hmm. which is unusual. We don't have that all the time, but... We do know what it's like. Unfairly <laughs> cold for us. Exactly. I wouldn't be outside. It's freaking gorgeous. And nothing beats the beauty of really cold days in the middle of winter. Everything turns into a frosty fairy tale, and there is beauty to be found in every direction you uh, look. I love wow. it. The light, the colors, the masterpiece shapes of the eyes on the windows. I swear I had this dream once. Wow, frost on the windows. Pretty. Our frost just looks ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. But of course, these extreme cold temperatures comes with a lot of work to keep our old, poorly insulated house warm. I want to see It's her almost house. a full-time job to get the wood and keep the fire alive in three fire stoves. But mm. I really love that as well. Because when it's so cold that you cannot really do anything else than just taking care of your house and your family, then I feel very relaxed. It's 
very rewarding too, I'm sure. Oh, come on, that's just cool. <laughs> what? That one's awesome. Holy firewood. That's a lot, a lot of firewood. Of wood. That's a lot but I guess you would need a lot. Yeah, you would. I wonder how much you go through in a day. That looks like an Ikea bag. They are. <laughs> I'm sorry it does, I is it? just thinking those are perfect for gathering firewood. Those like are, that. aren't they? Yes. Okay, I was just thinking they looked like it. I didn't know they actually was. Those would be perfect for them. Mm-hmm. Nice Good. and big. Let's go home. That dog's like, I want to stay. I, I want to know if there's a house tour of hers, because I'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Oh, it is Ikea. Okay, okay, so the straps now. Meow. Sorry. Wow. Seems very peaceful. Yeah. More simple. Less stressful, probably. Like winter. Right? <laughs> I miss our doggies. Five something. So it is another really, really cold day. Look at the light. I am just gonna go out and feed the birds because we have so many beautiful winter birds here that eat every day. I have uh, sunflower seeds for them. That's what we feed ours. <gasps> oh, uh oh. I've done that. The birds will find it though. Yeah, they'll find it. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. It's like cotton candy sky. I almost forgot. I have my camera outside. <laughs> there was some northern lights tonight, so I put it here so that it could film the northern lights. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. it looked cold. I hope it captured something beautiful. That's a great idea. That just looks lovely. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. To warm his paws. Oh, look at that, Dobby. That beautiful sky. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It's one of these plastic bags that you put up on New Year's. And oh. it's landed here on the Lantern. house. It's definitely one of the reasons I don't want to use these because they look so beautiful when you put them up with the light, mm -hmm. but then they mm -hmm. land somewhere and they can hurt animals because there's like wires and stuff. Very true. I'm going to bring this one home. Oh, look at the sky. It is really cold outside. I think it's about minus 25 right now. It is the 4th of January, so we are in the beginning of this That's new this year, year, which feels really good. So happy new year, everybody. Thank uh, you. I hope you have a good start. And Happy if year. not, that's okay. I kind of have a feeling that January is like a month where 50% are having a really good time because it's like a new fresh start mm -hmm. and 50% are having a horrible time. 
so whatever you're feeling, it's fine. It's going to be okay. So we have... Hope everyone just took that in right there mm -hmm. because that is such great advice. It is. It really, really is. I don't think a timeline of like a new year should make people feel like they have to do this, this, or this. Yeah, it shouldn't define. No, I think every day is is a good choice for us to decide, you know, this is going to be a good day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know. Start each day with a fresh start, yeah. fresh eyes. Yeah, absolutely. It's but always a new opportunity. We have a whole new year ahead of us. And I'm so, so <clears throat> happy that you chose to come and watch my very first video of 2024. And I hope you want to join this new year with all the adventures and experiences that will come our way i just felt like going down to the lake and just yeah get out here because i feel like i haven't been out in nature for so long mm -hmm. i just been inside working for like a month yep. and uh, even though it's super cold outside i just want to go out and breathe so i'm standing on the ice right now and i always like to come down here in the winter because I just get a sense of freedom when I have open spaces in front of me like this and being all alone that's really nice too it's so vast wow, it's so beautiful wow the sun is setting and there's like a stream of light coming up from the trees Oh, it's getting really cold. <laughs> getting? It's, gonna it's been get cold. It's going to soon because the sun is setting. Even though it's January now and it gets brighter every day, it's still very dark. Hmm. It's just a short amount of time that we can see the sun every day. I really wish Nanok was with me now. He would have loved this. But uh, especially now when it's this cold, uh, it's harder for him to be outside and walk. Mm -hmm. So we just take really short walks with him now. Since he has arthritis, I really yeah. think the cold makes it worse. Yep. Yep. So Nanok is staying home now and just no. rest a little bit. But I really felt like I needed to go out and yeah, just greet the sun. <laughs> so 2023 is over. And <laughs> uh, that was a hell of a year. For me personally, 2023 was... Uh, a really good year. I f feel very happy with everything that happened in 2023 in my life. But it was definitely the most hardworking year in my life. Mm. And if you have been that. watching yes. my videos uh, throughout 2023, you have seen a little glimpse of why it was uh -huh. so hardworking. Whoa. The first six, seven months I spent focusing on uh, renovating and building up my art studio nice. and then That's the cool. end of the year I spent uh, <coughs> moving a part of our jewelry business to the nearby town so left you uh, so it was just two enormous big projects it's a lot after each it other is. I feel like I didn't uh, had so much time to do anything else really so if i could describe 2023 in one sentence that would be get shit done <laughs> now i am so tired of getting shit done <laughs> so time to relax i really i'm gonna focus on calming down and i want a really slow start on this new year I'm not mm. going to rush into new projects or anything. I'm going to mm -hmm. take it really slow. And that's why it's so good that it's super cold right now. Because when it's this cold, Can't do it. <laughs> it's really hard to do anything, really. Because so much time just goes into keeping the fires alive <coughs> and yeah, taking care of the house and s staying alive. <laughs> and that's... You know, it's always good when you have busy years like that i mean they can be stressful when you're going through it yeah and trying to get the projects done get started renovations but then when you're done that's really the time that you you step back and you breathe and then you enjoy the fruits of all your hard work mm -hmm. and we've been through that it's very important to take that time to appreciate everything that you just went through absolutely and let yourself just just be be yep so good to just focus on simple things mm -hmm. so 
This week, because of the cold, both of us are just working from home. We haven't been in, so left you to the workshop now for the two past days. And I think I'm just gonna spend some time in my art studio tomorrow. And I'm gonna spend a lot of time just at home, taking care of my family, <laughs> making hot chocolate for you and, and just hug Nanok so much because he's struggling now in the cold. <laughs> If you guys could describe 2023 in one sentence, what would that be? Okay guys, I actually see that the display in the camera is like, looks drunk. <laughs> I don't think you can see it, but I see it here. And that's because of the cold. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back inside and help Good everyone idea. keep the me fires cold. alive. <laughs> and snuggle up in the sofa. Mwah. See you soon. I wonder how far of a walk that is from our house. It's too pretty. <laughs> this scene right here. I've had that dream before, I swear I have. <sighs> yeah, perfect place for a house. Yep. This is the coziest fire in the house, I think. The house looks quite large. Imagine take a lot of wood to heat the house. It's a mm. really beautiful night. It's minus 30 degrees outside now. Jeez. And I'm out to place my camera here for the night because it's a really beautiful night sky. It's a very clear sky, so you can see the stars so clear. Unfortunately, there is no northern lights that can be seen right now. It doesn't seem like there's been any huge solar storms on the sun for the past day, so I don't think we're going to get any northern lights tonight. Maybe a little, if we're lucky. But I would just love to capture the beautiful stars. So I have my poor camera. <laughs> standing here it's one of my old cameras I was gonna so say, I'd be worried yeah. it's not that like weather. the best one mm -hmm. in case something happens in the cold I don't think it's that good for the camera equipment to spend a night outside no, probably not in it's minus really not. 30 degrees I don't think mine would but break if I was a camera I would have enjoyed it I wish I could film the stars it's so beautiful but I've taken a photo for you so you can see this is what it looks like yeah, thank you. I would be absolutely blown away and not able to go inside because I would be staring at the sky for a while. I'd be able to go inside night. because it's so cold. <laughs> I'd be looking at that from the window. I don't have that, that nature in me to be able to be out in that kind of cold, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I would, it's just perfect. Absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Yeah. Too much light pollution where we live in the city. Yeah, we don't see that many. Nope. <clears throat> perfect though. And the longer you stay outside, the more stars you see. I know there are so many people out there who has never seen mm -hmm. the night sky far away from light pollution. And every time someone comes here you that has out. never seen that before, they are like in a shock. Yeah. They suddenly see the night sky in a whole other way. The way it's supposed to look. I just love this cold weather. I love the magic that it brings, even though it's a struggle. You mm. know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna do something really nice. Go inside? Something that actually, it feels like a lifesaver in the winters here. I'm going to take a Don't you say hot that. bath. Oh, I thought you were gonna say bath. It's my favorite room in the whole house. It's always warm in there because we have a heater on. For the past Smart. weeks, I've been taking 
a bath. I mean, every second day or something, because I've been so cold. I've been freezing in my bones. I haven't really felt, you know, that good. So taking a bath has been like the only way to really calm down and feel warm in my body again. And I'm so grateful for that bathtub. And now when it's minus 30, it feels even more nice to take a hot bath. The contrasts in life, that's what I love the most. Being out here in minus 30 degrees and then go in and have a nice hot bath. Water is the best thing. I love water. Every time I take a hot bath, I think of my ancestors who lived here mm. 400 years ago and even 300 and 200 years ago. All of them before me, they didn't have a hot tub. They didn't have True. hot water Very inside. Nice. So when Man, they- Man, she just made me think, like, like I said, that mean I both have some Swedish ancestry. Mine keeps going up on the DNA website. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think about that. That my peoples mm -hmm. come from that, and man, I I wimped that. They would hate me <laughs> like you wimp. <laughs> yeah, you do not like the cold. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I really don't. I, I I did when I was a kid. I loved it. I didn't even feel mm -hmm. cold except for my feet. But now, no. If you see me outside in that type of temperature, it's because somebody made me go out there <laughs> with a weapon. Well, it, it, the older you get, the, the more it hurts. Yeah, you know, you get arthritis is fun. When it's cold. <laughs> Here, hundreds of years ago, when it was minus 30 degrees, they didn't have jackets like this. Or, yeah. Yeah, everything that we have. We're lucky. We are very lucky to live in this time. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them, mm. when times are hard, when nature <clears> is hard. <laughs> because uh, I can't imagine really how, how they did it. They were really strong mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful to them that they well said. did all the hard work so that I could live here and enjoy it in this way. Very true. It's good to give appreciation. So now when I take this hot bath, I'm going to think of them and hope they can somehow enjoy it through me. All right, let's go home. Good night, camera. Have a nice night now. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I was just gonna ask, are we gonna watch her take a bath? <laughs> <laughs> Not in a creepy way. I don't know what that means. Well, that's a nice deep tub. Looks like I've been sitting back the whole video. I like the bathroom. Did that camera capture that? I think so. It didn't even look real. Ah, oh, northern lights. Jeez. Wow. Just wow. Still wow. Minus 35.9. Yeah, Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, we're making fires in every room now. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Oh, he's very tired now <clears throat> when it's so cold outside. It's, it's good beautiful. that you're sleeping now, Nock. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Never seen the moon like that. <laughs> Good morning. It's been the coldest night so far. Minus 36 we had. Yeah, it's cold. This morning. So I'm gonna go for a little walk in the sunlight while the sun is up. And I'm also going to go and pick up my little camera <laughs> that I left outside during the night. It's so beautiful. Ooh. I struggle with, I have sensitive eyes on days when it, you know, it does, we do have snow here in the wintertime. And uh, I get up out of my very dark bedroom <laughs> mm -hmm. and I come out into the rest of the house and it's, 
you know how the snow blindness essentially. Yeah. I couldn't imagine how bright that is there. Because look at right at this frame where I paused mm -hmm. it. I mean, there's everything's white everywhere, you know, yes. and that sun, even though it's not, you know, all day or whatever, it just seems more like, I don't know. That probably feels even brighter when you yeah. have more darkness. So that's true, too. That's what well, that's, that's blasting what was, you, but. Right. I imagine that sun feels pretty darn good on her face. Yeah, but gosh, wouldn't you be wearing sunglasses? I'm just asking. I would be wearing sunglasses. You definitely would. I do it in the house too sometimes. Much for you. I do think this this life is simple, more so, and I think it's more rewarding. It's definitely harder, mm -hmm. but I think having a more simple life in that regard, you know, with all the less of the, the crap, you know, yes. the 21st century junk. That I think this is so much more rewarding. Mm -hmm. I just do. I'm, I, it definitely would be. Yeah. Oh, wow. The sun. Oh, my gosh. I bet that felt good. I think this is the first day that I really see the sun so clearly like this. And it's getting higher up above the trees. I've spotted my camera. It looks good. It's a lot of snow. It is. Jeez. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? <laughs> I like that she talks to our camera. You know I do the same thing. <laughs> Tonight. Some beautiful stuff. Jeez, that's just, it's just breathtaking, Sweden. Every it's, bit of it. You're breathtaking. You're just breathtaking. I want to see more wilderness. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm so glad I have this jacket. Mm -hmm. You see, it has my name on it. It says Jana Jintan here. I got this jacket when I was on a polar expedition, 2013. I was uh, going 300 kilometers over the tundra, way, way up in the north. And that was quite an experience. It was one of the hardest challenges I've ever done in my life. Oh, no, I, thank you. I got uh, a bit sick, I think. Uh, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. It was so hard, but it was so magical as They're well. Good for you. It's one of I these experiences that I will never forget. Mm -hmm. I realize now that I haven't really told you about that expedition, but I should uh, have a little storytelling someday to share about the experience I had on the polar expeditions with my beautiful sled dogs. It was amazing. But I got a lot of good equipment from the journey. I think this one is the best thing that I got. It's a real expedition parka. So it's almost like a tent. It looks really warm. Mm -hmm. You just pull it over, like there's no opening here. It's just, oh. you know, yeah, you pull it over. Nice. And it keeps you really warm. So this is the jacket that I use when it's the most extreme cold and when I know I'm gonna be out for some time to yeah, film or whatever. I'm just gonna soak in some sunlight. Mm -hmm. It's setting any minute. <laughs> that would be me. She makes me want to so to slow down, you know? Mm -hmm. Like just hearing her talk watching her just go about you know her day her night this beautiful footage it's like okay just slow down mm -hmm. you know i think we all need to do that and we all live in such you know busy busy places busy in our minds you know schedules to do this and that absolutely um that's one thing us americans are really bad about oh yeah we can't take a minute to no chill out and relax no, we don't do it That's where all the wood is. That is a monstrously big area. Mm -hmm. Man. Now I'm here at my beautiful art studio. I'm just gonna shake on it a little bit and turn on the heat some more <clears> because <throat> I'm gonna be here tonight and work and the whole weekend. Because I guess it's a little bit cold in here now. It's so beautiful up here. 
Oh, I love this space. I love this space so much. Oh, it was actually quite nice in here. <laughs> we were just outside. The heating <laughs> system in this house is amazing. This house is so much warmer than our home because the house is uh, newer, it's better insulated and it's smaller and of course we have a nice heating system here mm. with the stove so even if I'm not here it's uh, keeping the house warm. It means so much to me that it's warm in this house. That's also something I've been missing like for the whole time I've been living up here because it's always been cold wherever I lived and wherever I worked. Mm. It's been so cold every winter. This house is not cold. So when I come here, I feel more relaxed than when I do when I'm at home because, yeah, you don't have to fight so much here. Mm. I wonder how she'd do in a warm climate, like a hot climate. I bet she'd hate it. Probably if it were super hot, yeah. Like, and especially if it was year-round hot, you know, yeah. like somewhere in South America or yeah, the year -round Caribbean house. even, you know yeah. what I mean? I bet she wouldn't like it. Because again, you're you what you're accustomed to. Mm -hmm. so I'd, I'd go stay at the art studio once I go. Yeah, I would take the dog and go there. It is a little bit messy in here right now. That's actually so really I'm cool. So I'm gonna clean up later. Cause uh, now finally is the time for me to be here a lot. For the next months coming up, I'm gonna spend a lot of time here. It's so strange because this house is my work. This is my art studio. When I come here, I'm supposed to work on something. But there's like no other place on earth that makes me feel so relaxed. Like there's no pressure. When I come here, I get the feeling from this house that I'm good enough just the way I am. I don't need to achieve anything more in this life. Mm. I can just be here. And that feeling is like the key to like create that. things from within your heart like mm. there's no pressure there's no thoughts about the result it's just pure inspiration and love yeah it's hard to put into words i just really i really get what love you're saying yeah i like it and uh yeah Yeah, I'm so glad. A year ago, I was starting this insane project with renovating this house. I'm so glad that it's done. Oh, that's the one she was showing from earlier. I mean, I okay. had so yeah. much fun with doing this project, I'm slow. but I also felt like I had to put aside so much during 2023 that I wanted to do to get this done. But that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to prioritize. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can start editing it tonight and uh, I'm so happy that you watched the video. Hmm. Wow. That's, she really sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say that's incredible. Um seeing how she how she works, what they go through every day with trying to keep the fires going, yeah. the warmth. I can't imagine how much wood they have to chop before winter comes to be ready for winter. Yeah. Um, and just seeing the much slow, very, to us, very slow pace. Um, but I do see that, you know, she's not surrounded by much. She is seemingly out. In the middle uh, of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, so that would make a difference too. And mm -hmm. obviously not all of Sweden is like that. We do know that, but yeah. to see how she is appreciating every moment in her life, um, it, it helps you in to the cold. It helps to remind you to, like I said earlier, slow down. Yes, guys. it's a joy to watch these and just kind of slow down with her and just appreciate <sighs> nature and exhale and, and life. Yeah, and exhale. Yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. We'd appreciate it if you do, and um, let us know your thoughts on this episode and. Um, let us know, you know, um, whew, what was your 2023 like? You know, mm -hmm. whether it was good or bad, let us know. And, um, you know, I'm not one for like New Year's resolutions and things like that. I was like I was saying earlier, I believe that every day 
is a, is a day to choose, you know, a resolution in a way. Yep. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate you. We'll be back with another uh, video on Sweden next week on Wednesday. And don't forget UK content Friday and Sunday. So we'll see you again. Until then, please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.